Friends, brothers and sisters, good morning. Morning everyone. I know everyone is excited and we're about to start in maybe a minute. We're going to start our praise and worship, worshiping the Lord. So let us all prepare our hearts, prepare our, our mind, prepare our souls, our body to worship the living God. Amen? Amen? So if you are all ready now, may I ask everyone to stand and the worship team, please come in front na po. Uh, as as we will start the worship service, I'd like to call on the, our worship coordinator, Sister Ellen. So good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, thanks God because yeah, for this morning, He had given us this day. And can we put all our chairs at the side for us to move through? Okay. Amen. So can we move in front for us? Top space. Amen po. Galaw, galaw po. Sige na po. Amen. Amen. All our God. Singles, can we move? Amen. Sige na po. So, can we read all together our scriptures? Space, space, space. All together from Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to do the very end of them. So at this moment, uh, whatever we are facing right now, we have to clear our minds set aside po natin yung pinagdadaanan natin. So, for now, we have to leave everything. Surrender po natin. Clear po natin. Focus po tayo sa presensya ng Panginoon. So, we may call on Sister Helena for a wisdom prayer. In Lamentation 3, 20, 22, verse 23. It is of Lord's mercies praise, that we are praise. not consumed because of His compassion praise, praise. was not failed. There are new every morning, O oh Lord Jesus. Great is your praise, faithfulness. Praise. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, loving Father, O oh God. Thank you for your unfailing love, O oh God. Thank you for your mercies. Thank you for your provision, O oh Lord. We glorify your name, O oh God. Your name above all name, O oh hallelujah. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We praise you. We glorify your name. We magnify your name, O oh God. We exalt your name. We lift up your name in this place, O oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, fill us with your presence, O oh Lord. Be with us, O oh God. Holy Spirit, come with us, O oh God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, sing a la 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 sing la 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. You are great. You are loving God. Oh, thank you, Lord. You are great. forgive. We ask forgiveness, O oh Lord Jesus, before you continue, O oh God. Cleanse us, O oh God. 
make us our heart pure, Panginoon. Nawa, Panginoon, maging mabangong samyo kami sa iyong banal na harapan, O Diyos. Hallelujah. Give us, O God, a pure heart. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Make us holy, O God. Make us worthy as you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Let your angels be with us, O God. Protect this place, O Lord Jesus, by your most precious blood, O Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa iyong masaganang biyaya, O Diyos, na sa bawat oras, Lord. Pinaparanas mo sa amin, Panginoon, na hindi ka nagkukulang at hindi ka nagbabago, Lord. Ikaw, immutable God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father God. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, sing a la 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 Hallelujah. We pray, Father God, lahat po ng instrument, Panginoon. Ikaw ang mag-glorify, O Lord, sa aming tagapagpaawit, O Diyos. Ikaw ang mag-glorify, O Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. As we continue our service, O Lord, we pray for the balance of their service, Panginoon. And once again, O God, we claim the victory of this ministry, of this service, O God. Thank you, Father God. We bring back all glory and praise to your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. We praise you, Lord, in this place. Indeed, Lord, we are not only seeking, O oh God, for your visitation, O oh God, but for your habitation in this place, O oh God. We're praying, Lord, for your Shekinah glory to fall in this place, O oh God. That you would cause your glory to dwell in this place, O oh God. We want, Lord, we're desiring for an encounter with you, Lord. Each one of us, Lord. Each one of us, Lord. We come from different walks of life, Lord. We have experienced different things this week, oh God. But we will always go back to you, Lord. We will always go back to you, Lord. For you are the one, Lord. You are our all in all, oh God. You, ref you, you fill us in you, oh God. You renew us, oh God. We will always go back to you, Father God in heaven. For you are the one who gives us rest. You are the one who gives us rest. And so, Lord, we're praying, Lord, for this morning, O oh God, for your Shekinah glory to fall in this place. That every one of us, Lord, every soul will experience your presence, O oh God, and let your presence become tangible, Lord. That there will be healing, that there will be joy, that there will be blessings, O oh Lord. Your grace will abound in this place.
to walk in the room. We wait for you, O Lord. We wait for you. Come 
Shaken, we 
will not be moved. Jesus, you are here. Come on, church, as one body. I will live, I will not die. The resurrection power of Christ alive in me. That's why, church, we are going to do a battle cry. Amen? Are you with me? We are going to do a battle cry. First, we will face north. Where is north? Once again, move to the right. Face right. Come on, church. We will do battle in all directions. when our Lord Jesus was having dinner in the house of a Pharisee and there was this woman who went inside uninvited no one was expecting her but she went because she was full of faith she wanted an encounter with the Messiah and crying she knelt down on his feet she cried her heart out 
with her tears with her tears she washed the feet of our Lord Jesus and with her hair she wiped his feet and with her was an alabaster jar inside it was a perfume so expensive it was all that she had expensive as it was she poured it over the feet of our Lord Jesus little did she know that she was anointing him in preparation for the cross and for his resurrection and the Lord Jesus told her that she is forgiven friends brothers and sisters you and I can be that woman approaching the feet of our Lord Jesus with everything that we have and everything that we don't have we are sinners the word of God says Romans 3.23 for all have fallen short of the glory of God but by those words our Lord Jesus said because she has been forgiven much she is able to love much and anyone who has been forgiven much as a cause to be joyful. Amen? Oh. Let us have that desire. Let us have that desire to have an encounter with our King, with our Savior. And if you haven't met Him, if you haven't fully surrendered your life to Him, now is the time I invite you, brothers and sisters, to approach Him now. For he is able to forgive. For he was the lamb who was slain. Let each of one of us be an alabaster jar, an offering to him. The word of God says in Romans chapter 12 verse 1, that we offer up our bodies as living sacrifice to him. And it is our act of worship. I encourage everyone, brothers and sisters, let's have an encounter with the Lord this morning. Let's offer up our bodies like alabaster jar to Him. Spill out your heart to Him. Spill out your concerns. Spill out your confessions to Him. And I believe, brothers and sisters, I know, I know for a fact it's a truth. It's a truth that He is able to forgive. For He loves you so much. He loves you so much. Let's offer up to Him a sacrifice of praise. Let's bring Him a sacrifice of praise. For He is worthy. He is worthy to receive the highest praise. Master General, Lord, we bring to you. We offer up our lives to you, Lord. We offer up oh. this alabaster jar is all I have of worth. Lay it at your feet, Lord It's less than you deserve You're far more beautiful More precious than the oil The sum of my desires And the fullness of my joy Like you spilled your blood I spill
This time that I have left is all I have of worth. I lay it at your feet, Lord. It's less than you deserve. And though I've little strength, I know my days are few. You gave your life for me, so I would live my life for you. Like you spilled your blood, I spill my heart as an offering to my King. Here we are, Lord. Here I am. Take me as an offering. Yeah. 
glorified. In whatever we see, Lord Jesus, be glorified. In whatever we eat, Lord Jesus, be glorified. In whatever we hear, Lord Jesus, be glorified. In everything, Lord Jesus, be glorified. In everything, Lord Jesus, be glorified. In every life, Lord Jesus, be glorified. I say it again, church. In everything, in every soul, let the Lord Jesus be glorified. Give Him a clap offering. Oh! your throne of grace, oh God. Thank you, Lord, for the love. Thank you, Lord. You feel this in you this morning, oh God. And we, we, Lord, we will not leave this place empty-handed, oh God. For you said, Lord, in your words, you will be with us to the very end of this age. This is our declaration. With confidence, with joy in our hearts, with joy in our hearts, we will forever lift up your name, Lord Jesus, in our lives. Amen. Amen, church. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are blessed. We are loved. We had an encounter with him. Amen. And he longs to have an encounter with us every day, every second of our life. Thank you. You are worthy to be worshipped, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This is our prayer. Our declaration and testimony in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, in the leading and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning again, brothers and sisters. Can we give a round of applause again and again to our Almighty God and our Son God? So thank you, God, for brought, uh, bringing us all together here for this gathering, po, Father God. And thank you, sa worship team, for teaching us how to worship God in spirit and in truth. So praise God. So uh, welcome, po, everyone. We're all here now. <laughs> Are we blessed? Yes. Amen. More, more, more. Are we blessed? Yes. So, gumising na po tayo. <laughs> Amen. So, uh, welcome po sa J.R. King. So, bago po ang lahat, uh, I just wanted to share, uh, last month I think I read the, this uh, verse uh, from chapter, ano, from Mark. So, while Sister ano, Pastor John was reading, it just had come to my mind. I don't want to, ano, because I'm not good in English. I'm good in ano, computation. <laughs> Alright, so this is from chap uh, Mark chapter 5, I think, or chapter 10. So uh, when I read, it's just a simple, like, this is a story of Bar Bartimaeus. I don't know how. It's a blind man. So when, when I read this chapter, it has uh, what something special for this is his name was mentioned as we notice if we are reading the new uh, new testaments most of them they're not mentioning the names they must telling that uh, blind lame so this Bartimus is a blind man blind man when God talked to him what good for him he answered because he heard God so for us we have to focus on God. We have to focus what we have. Hindi yung what, kung wala sa atin. So if God can talk to us, He will tell us na 
gumi, for example, for Arabic, he could tell na gumi, hey, bumangan ka. Because what you are facing obstacles. Sorry. The grace of God is sufficient. The power of God is perfect for weakness. So God is good all the time, and all the time is good. All the time, God is good. So welcome po, pero bago po tayo dadakas sa testimony, I just wanted to call uh, Sister Leia. Hi, she's from Cebu. Welcome po sa JR King. Uh, ako po si Ellen, Maria Eleanor for short. You can call me Mary Elaine for my English name. <laughs> Welcome po sa JRK, JJ, JR King. So I know na it's God who brought you here. It's His will. Amen po. So uh, after the service, meron po tayong ano, mga ministry. We have single ministry, couples, and B team. Bisaya, since she's Bisaya. So Kuya Ark, <laughs> you have, we have a new member. So amen. amen po. So let's proceed for testimony. Anyone else? Praise God. Uh, good morning po everyone. Uh, mga kapatid. Uh, uh, Unang-una po, uh, pasalamat po ako sa buhay na binigay po sa, sa akin. No? Extension sa health. Namin na yung Sister Seidel. No? Sa mga blessings. Sa family. Especially po sa mga anak ko na nagkasakit. Na dengue po sila eh. Pero okay naman po. Lahat po sufficient. Si Lord po nag-provide lahat po. Hindi po, hindi po siya nagkukulang. Thank you Lord God. Salamat po. Ligtas na po sila ngayon sa dengue. Thank you po. God be all the glory. Amen po. So nothing is impossible with God. So we have new members po. Si, hello? Nakalbutol ko. <laughs> si Patrick and si... Ar Arnel. Hello po. Tayo po tayo. Hello po. Welcome po. Elena here. Hello Kirk. Saan po si Kirk? Hi po Kirk from Qatar. <laughs> Hello po. Welcome po sa Chair King family. So anyone else? Kuya Kenneth? <laughs> uh, amen. <laughs> God is good all the time. Uh, I want to share the what happened, uh, what the, the Lord did, did to me last last day. Uh, we know that we have a couples ministry coming this uh, July 9. Ay, I'm sorry, August 9. But uh, the, uh, the Lord uh, did something. Uh, uh, I already uh, changed my uh, uh, schedule or uh, my duty. For, uh, for the preparation for the couple's ministry. So I will be preaching that day. But uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, three of us in, the, in our uh, uh, team uh, did, uh, have, they had, did have uh, off-duty also. So two, two, uh, two of our colleagues left. So we are under... Uh, um, uh, uh, under uh, uh, yes, uh, under... Uh, under manpower and uh, our uh, our paramedic uh, as as us to if possible we can come to, to, to duty to help because we are having a mass casualty training then uh, in that in that uh, situation I a little bit I have a little bit confused how to decide uh, how to uh, deal with this uh, because we have less of manpower and my uh, duty, uh, my off duty is already approved. So I grab my Bible. I have my Bible in my uh, uh, locker, locker. So I grab my Bible there and uh, I just uh, uh, turn the pages. I, re I read some verses but that is not hindi uh, 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 na sa inisip ko. Yung, uh, it's not a uh, it's not uh, uh, related in that issue. So I, uh, I stop and I wonder. And uh, the verse, uh, this, uh, I don't know the verse, uh, what is the exactly verse, but this is the, the Lord tells us. I tell to me that if you are, uh, uh, if, if you are uh, praying to me or you, are, you want to worship me, 
Can you remember something that you um, uh, uh, um, please, Pastor? Uh, what's that in the verse? You remember that you have uh, Tatagalog ka rin. And you, pag may nalaman ko may galit sa'yo, and some, someone, uh, you will remember that you, you're angry with. And, uh, and and the Lord said, said that to that, that leave your offering first, then uh, uh, go, to, go to that person, make arrangement, then come back to your offering. Eh, yun ang nagpap sa akin. So, uh, pwede namang mangyari na uh, kasi sabi sa sulat, impossible, Uh, can you come? So I said, I said to myself, approve na yung ano ko eh. My, my duty is already approved. Well, I will come. Bala kayo. Yeah, this is the verses. Therefore, if you are offering, if you are offering your gift at the altar, of, altar, and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there and in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to your brother, then come up, offer your gift. Hindi naman sakto talaga sa sa situation ko pero ang sabi eh uh, ang ang gustong ipaliwanag sa akin ni Lord is uh, uh, make communicate uh, horizontal and vertical relationship. So so I, for the story short I make uh, both both relationship horizontal and relationship with the God. Uh, the, the fact is uh, I did not uh, Ah, uh, nag hindi ako nag sa uh, hindi ako naging makasarili, ba? Yung uh, hindi ako naging selfish, hindi ko pinabayaan na na magtrabaho sila kasi gusto ko mag-serve ako kay Lord, bala kayo. Parang hindi siya hindi siya appropriate. Eh. So, uh, the Holy Spirit told me, sige, uh, uh, come to work and ask your uh, pastor to if he can move my uh, preaching. So, God's grace, pwede naman na i-move the pastor. So, I, I, I believe that uh, I serve horizontal and vertical relationship. God, to God be the glory. Hello po. Yes, thank you po, bro Kenneth. Uh, correct pronunciation, ha? <laughs> Thank you po uh, by sharing this testimony. You're also sharing the gospel. And it glorifies God. Kasi lahat ng mga ginagawa mo, you are depending with God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. Art. Good morning, church. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's nice to see you once again. Uh, uh, matagal-tagal na rin. Hindi wala pag ano, magpatotoo. No, before, uh, in my company, uh, I always tell that uh, this company will not give me increase or raise any like that. I don't believe like it will happen. But uh, this uh, last last two weeks or one week ago, Uh, my boss. Uh, before we have uh, my boss, we don't have a good uh, relationship because before he get he give warning on me. Now last time he called me, he was uh, very kind. Then uh, he give me actually he give me one project in the field. I was a project manager there. Then uh, aside from that, I'm holding a safety officer and a QC. <laughs> Doing one. So, my boss, he maybe natuwa siya ganun. Nag-repair uh, siya ng, ano, ng letter na binigyan niya ako ng additional 500 allowance. It's a blessing. Uh, okay. Aside from that, every day, binigyan niya ako ng, ano, ng plus two. Plus two hour every day. So, it's a big blessing for me. Uh, I I cannot believe that uh, my the company will give me that. Uh, I praise God for for this uh, it's a miracle for me because I cannot believe that my company will give this one because they are can use. Can use. <laughs> for can use is means to report uh, in Hindi. 
Uh, salamat sa Diyos. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, we have also to pray to our companies for our, because uh, jet layo kumukuha ng ano, sustento pa sa families natin. So, more, more tenders to our companies, more projects. Amen. Uh, promotions and salary increment. Yes, amen. So, can we call on <laughs> si, si Kuya Berhel? Berhelio. Uh, uh, good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, ako si Brad Berhel, for mayor. Ah, joke lang po. Ang tanggal niya, Diyos. Uh, I'm here stand in front of you now uh, because uh, I'd like to testify the good the, the good is of our God. Uh, praise the Lord. Um, uh, dati po kasi mahihain po talaga ako, di pa ako nagsasalita. Uh, pero uh, dahil po sa suguro, uh, yun po yung Uh, tao po sa akin ng Panginoon na dapat magsalita po dito uh, para isin po kung anong uh, uh, kagandang ano, uh, binigyan niya sa akin. Uh, dati po kasi last uh, leadership training po namin, yung last, last Saturday, naalala ko po yung sabi ni Pastor Rajuan. Doon po sa ano, Kung ikaw po ba yung alagaan pa o ikaw po ba yung alagaan. Yung po naalala ko po kasi yun. Kaya sabi ko po, uh, tiyatanong ko po yung sarili ko kung ako po ba yung alagaan pa ba o ako na po yung dapat alagaan na nung alaga-alaga. Uh, kaya, yun. Thanks God. Uh, Nakapagsalita na po po dito. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tsaka ano po, uh, sabi din po ni Pastor Rajon po noon, uh, nung last preaching po niya, ba't ka matatakot kung sigad na po yung nasa gitna? Uh, kung matakot ka, kung ikaw po siya, no? kung sigad yung uh, nasa ano mo, goal mo para ma-achieve mo yung ano, gusto mo ma-achieve. Katulad ngayon, kapag natalim na po ako dito, Uh, hindi po na ako natatakot kasi kasama ko na si God. Uh, praise the Lord! Praise God po sa buhay mo at Kuya Carl. Actually, pareho po kami shy type. Uh, this is the first time po talaga na humawak ako ng microphone. Oo mm -mm. uh, ah! <laughs> Amen. So, uh, napaka-bless po natin. Yes, all together po tayo nag-exalt sa Panginoon. All together we are rejoicing. So, praise God. So, we're about to call our preacher for today. So, prepare ourselves. Ay, wait. Sister Charlotte. Sorry, ha. <laughs> Praise God. I want to thank the Lord for adding another year to Ashley's life. She's celebrating her sixth birthday today. <laughs> I pray that uh, she'll grow in fear of the Lord and she'll have joy forever in her heart and she'll have good health. Praise be to God. Happy birthday. So, amen? Last na? So, let us, ano, set our mobile na in a silent mood. So, as we call on, as we are about to receive the word of God, uh, we may call on Sister, ay, Pastora Adrin. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That's okay. Dung, when I was uh, ayan yung when I was in elementary, madalas akong nabubuli, alam nyo ba yun? They, they will call me Aldrina. Oh, it, it's uh, true. Because uh, hindi, naman, hindi naman ako, ano, hindi naman ako uh, bakla. Pero, kasi, Pag nagsasalita kasi ako, malamiya yung boses ko. Siguro kaya ganun sinasabi nila. Pero ako rin mahihain eh. Oo, oh, pare-pare. Maraming mahihain dito. But we are bold you know, for the Lord. Pag nagsasalita tayo para sa the Lord. Para sa Lord. I mean, because 
Pag nandito po tayo sa harapan, we're not, we not boasting ourselves. No? Hindi po ang ating sarili ang ating tinataas. Kung ang ating sarili ang ating tinataas, yes, mahiya ka kasi, di ba? Anong meron tayo na po pwedeng ipagmayabang? Di ba? Wala, kundi ang Panginoong Isus lang, kundi ang ating Diyos lang. Amen? Amen. Brother Allen, yung ating ano. Yan. Praise the Lord! Um, yan. Amen. Are we ready? Amen. Amen. I was blessed really dun sa ating praise and worship. Um, especially yung, yung kanta natin, Alabaster Jar. You know, sabi nga ng ating worship leader, we should uh, ariin natin na ating mga sarili is yung, yung gift na in-offer para sa Lord. Amen. So, today, as promised, yung ating, uh, bago tayo pumunta sa series of preaching natin about the parables, we will be having our water baptism. So after this, we will have our water baptism. And yung mga, uh, may mga nag-approach na nga sa akin, yung mga magpapa-water baptize. So later, after ng service, magkakaroon tayo ng water baptism. At saan pa? Siyempre, sa ating swimming pool. Kaya kung mapansin nyo, malinis na yung swimming pool. We can, uh, pwede tayong mag-swimming. Mamaya, praise the Lord. Yan. Let us bow down our heads and... Uh, Pray to God, let us feel the presence of the Lord. Father God in heaven, Lord, we thank you for this day because indeed, Lord, this is the Lord's day. Panginoon, this is the day that you have made for each and every one, for us all, Panginoon, for the JR King Church, Father, and we will rejoice in it, Lord. Maraming maraming salamat po for this opportunity once again that you have given, that you have afforded to everyone, that we have come together, Lord God, in this church, as you said in Hebrews 10. 1025, Lord God, that we should always come together in fellowship, Lord God. And that's what <coughs> that's what we are doing, Lord God. We are in unity. We are in unison, Father. And Lord, use me, Lord, mightily, Lord God. Make me your, your footstool, Lord God, so that you will be able to convey your message, Lord God, to your to your church, Lord God, the Jericho King Church, Lord. Hayaan mo po, Panginoon, that the, all the glory will be yours, Lord God. Nothing, Lord God, no glory will be taken by me but only you, Father. And Lord, in this worship hall, Lord, we rebuke the works of the enemy. Whatever plans, whatever evil plans the work of the enemy has, we rebuke it in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we declare the blood of the Lord Jesus that we are covered in this place. And each and everyone here, Lord God, I know, Lord God, we have... We, we have come here, Lord God, because we wanted not only to hear you, not only to, to, to fellowship with each other, Panginoon, but we have come to experience you, Father. And we, we know, and I know, Lord God, that we have already experienced you in our praise and worship. And Lord, let us also experience you in your word, Father. Because these words, Lord, are not my words. These words are your words, Father. Mga salita mo ito, Panginoon. Therefore, Lord, I will be bold, Lord, declaring your words, Father, because your words have life, Father. You have come here, Lord God, to give us life, Father. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord. This we pray in your mighty name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Yan. So, the message for this morning is about water baptism. Yeah, eh, pwedeng i eh, ganun natin tong kortina yan para okay itong lambing talaga siguro yan para nakikita ko sila dun yan <laughs> baka natutulog na eh <laughs> gigisingin ko hindi joke lang yan. so the, the message for today is about water baptism and uh, don't you know do you know church that uh the Lord Jesus Christ gave two ordinance to the to to the church, to us Christians. The first one is Matthew chapter twenty-eight, verse nineteen. It says, "Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit." That's the first ordinance to baptize in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and the second is actually the breaking of bread in remembrance of our Lord Jesus. And this is in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 to 25. It says, <coughs> For I received from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night He was betrayed, took bread. 
And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, The cup is the new covenant, my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. So these are the two ordinances that the Lord Jesus gave us. And it's really very proper for us to do this, to, to uh, follow as he has given us. No, yung baptism and yung breaking of bread. That which we are doing every uh, first Friday of the month. And today, today is actually the first Friday of the month. But we will not do our uh, breaking of bread this Friday, but we will do the breaking of bread next Friday. So that we can, uh, para po mai, mai, ano natin yung ating time. Because we will have water baptism later on after the service. Okay, now, um, I, I think maybe, uh, if not all of you, maybe some of us or most of us know that the Lord Jesus Christ went to where? The river of Jordan to be baptized by who? John the Baptist. Ang galing nyo. Ayan. Ayun ang sabi sa Matthew chapter 3 verse 13 to 7, 17. It says here, Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? So here comes, he, here is John, John the Baptist, who is baptizing uh, by water in the Jordan River. And here comes the Lamb of God. Diba? John the Baptist saw Jesus Christ from afar. He said, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Diba? Sabi niya. So he saw him. Then John said, uh, John said, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Uh, ikaw nga yung dapat mag, mag-bautismo mag bautismo ba yung Tagalog? No? Mag, mag-bautismo sa akin eh. Bakit? Eh, ngayon ikaw yung lumalapit sa akin. Yun ang sabi. That's what John said. And the Lord Jesus said, in verse 15, Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Amen? So by doing water baptism, it's a fulfillment of righteousness. That's the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, is to, pul- to fulfill all righteousness. Now, what is what water bapti- what baptism that does John have? Later on, we will see. Pasahin ko muna. Uh, then John consented in verse 16, As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At, the, at that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. So when when the Lord Jesus was baptized, John saw the open heaven, uh, the, the, the heaven open. And then he heard the word from God saying, This is my son, in whom this is my son whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. In other translation, meron pang karuktong, follow him. Uh, now, Church, are we a follower of our Lord Jesus Christ? Yeah. Or are we are we just here because out of curiosity, uy, may, mayroon JR King Church dito. Di ba? Na, uh, mayroon, mayroon akong nakita ng King Church sa Facebook. I want to see that church. So you attended. But I believe everyone here, no, including Ibr- even yung first time lang here, you are here because you are a follower of Christ. Because you you'll not be wasting your time coming to the church, you no. Know, instead of uh, instead of resting, you know, some some of us maybe have uh, has been working from Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and ang lang is Friday. But you know what? When you come to church, you you are rested because the Lord Jesus says, "Come to me, all you are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest." Amen. Because I believe we have. We have this baggage, yes, we have this problem, we have this trial. And the church will give you rest. Not not ex- exactly the church, but our God will give you rest. Amen? But of course, you, dito sa church na bubuo yan, the environment, because what is in here is love. Diba? Do you love one another? Not uh, not as opposite sex love, uh, but as uh, brotherly, sisterly, diba? love. Sabihin mo nga, sabihin nyo nga sa katabi nyo na ano, na I love you. Wow. <laughs> yung, yung mga, ay, yung, 
Brother Tito, nasan si Sister Susan? Oh, Brother Allen, dito ka pa lang magsabi ng I love you sa iyo. Ako na lang, I love you. I love you, Brother Allen. Di ba? Because that's what, that's what we as Christian, that's what we should should be doing, loving each other. Di ba? But sometimes, hindi yun ang nangyayari. Because sad, sad to say, there is a tempter. Di ba? Nandiyan si Satan. He always, he always tempts us. He wants to bring us down. No. But kung magpapatalo tayo, kaya nga narinig ko yung sabi ni, ni Sister Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, Focus our eyes on the Lord Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Yes, He is the author and not only He is the author, He is the perfecter. Imagine, Siya na nga yung nagsulat. For example, I'm the author, ako na yung nagsulat. And then I will also do whatever I can to, to be able for you to understand and to, to uh, implement or to perform what I have written. He is the, he's the author and He is the perfecter of our faith. So we just need to focus. Now, dito, basically, ang sinasabi ng Panginoong Isus dito is it's humility. Because the water baptism, yan, Acts chapter 19 verse 4 says, Paul said, John's baptism was a baptism of repentance. He told people to believe in the one coming after him that is in Jesus. So actually, John the Baptist is baptizing to prepare to prepare the people for the one coming after him, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, uh, I think four times the Bible says, or five times the Bible says, that John's baptism is a baptism of repentance. That's what John's baptism was. So if you come to John, then that means you have repented from your sin. Diba? Now, question. Here is the Lamb of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, coming to John. So if John's baptism is a baptism of repentance, so does that mean that the Lord Jesus uh, nagkasala ang Panginoong Jesus? He has sinned. The Bible says, He has not sinned. No? But sabi nga ng Panginoong, Panginoong Jesus, let, this, let it be so now, for it is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Because baptism goes up to the Old Testament. Goes up to the Old Testament. Kumbaga sa ating mga Pilipino, yung sa pagmamano, kumbaga, for example na lang, <coughs> pag nagmano, di ba, that's a sign of respect, di ba? Technically, hindi mo naman kailangan magmano eh. Ibang layo nga, hindi nagmamano. Kasi hindi nila alam. Pero, naka, yun yung nakaugalian. That's a sign of respect. So, yun yung, yun yung gustong gawin ng Panginoong Isus to honor. In fact, He is showing us humility. By going to John the Baptist, even though he doesn't need repentance, hindi niya po kailangan mag-repent kasi wala siyang kasalanan, but he went to John the Baptist to give the example. And sabi nga dito, di ba? John the Baptist saw heaven open. And the voice of God said, This is my son whom I love with him. I'm well pleased. So later, mamaya, pag nag-water baptism tayo, baka bumukas din yung langit. No? Amen. Praise the Lord kung nangyari yun, di ba? Praise the Lord. But I believe, <clears throat> kasi big, i, dito sa message natin, sa pag-aaral natin about water baptism, we will come to know that water baptism is it's like a symbol. Later, I will, I don't want to pray, em, so let's just go through na lang dun sa flow ng ating, ano, uh, ng ating, nito, nung presentation na sinetap ko. Jesus himself was baptized. <coughs> Yun nga, yung sinabi ko na sa inyo, he was not a sinner, yet he humbled himself in obedience to identify with us and give us an example to follow. Di ba? Parang ganito yan eh. Parang, parang, for example, ako, I'm telling you to do this, but me myself is not doing it. Waan sa sabihin niya, ikaw nga, hindi mo nga ginawa yan, tapos pinagagawa mo sa amin. Di ba? He has come here, that's why he is the firstborn, and I believe he's not just a firstborn, but he's the first in everything. Because he showed us how to live uh, sinless. Di ba? No one was able to do that. Uh, Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and have fallen short of the glory of God. All, when it says all, not only you, also me. Di ba? Lahat tayo, except our Lord Jesus Christ, all has fallen short of the glory of God. And 623, 
Alam natin that the wages of sin is death. But praise the Lord because our Lord Jesus Christ has come and given us life full and abundant. So, yan yun. He has set an example because He has given an, an, an ordinance and he has, a, he has set an example. Even yung breaking of bread, di ba? Siya rin mismo nakisalo dun sa breaking of bread. Breaking of bread shows unity. Yun yung, yung essence ng breaking of bread. Yes, it's first and foremost, it's to remember our Lord Jesus Christ uh, until He comes back and also to be united with Him. Amen? Amen. So, no. ilan bang baptism ang alam nyo? Ito yung nilista ko. Uh, ito yung most common. Pero actually, no, when I was researching about it, ang dami palang baptism. Meron pa kang various baptism na tinatawag pala. Sabi nga ng ano, maluloka ka. <laughs> maluloka. <laughs> Masira. <laughs> ang dami palang baptism na ano, na na lumalabas. Pero ang pag-uusapan natin about dito is ito, yung number seven. Baptism of believer. Okay. Number, first one is baptism of Moses. Hindi na po natin isa-isahin. Nandiyan yung, yung mga reference niya. Bible references. Verses. Uh, pakitake down notes nyo na lang. Baptism of John. Yan nga, yung, yung John the Bapti- baptism of John is uh, baptism of repentance. Baptism of the Lord Jesus. Baptism of fire. Baptism of the Holy Spirit. Baptism of the Cross and Baptism of Believers. Yan po yung, yung seven most common. And ang usual na pinapractice po is number seven, yung Baptism of Believers, which is in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19. Nanda basa na nga natin at sabi, uh, Go ye and baptize in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Lord Jesus, and of the Holy Spirit. So yan po yun. Now, Let's discuss about baptism. Are you intrigued? What is baptism? Sino po dito nakakalam kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng baptism before? Kasi alam nyo po, ako, ang alam ko kasi sa baptism talaga, yung sa bata, yung binabaptismahan yung bata. <coughs> na, ang na-witness ko kasi malaki na ako si Brother Allen. Nung baby pa to kasi we have 14 years. Pag dito nga magpakita ka kaya, Brother Allen, Magpakita ka dito ah Labas ka dito Para makita ka nila Ito po yung si Brother Allen Yung aking nakababatang kapatid yeah. yan, po yung, yan po yung bunso namin uh, We have 14 years difference In terms of age uh, Tatlo po kami magkakapatid And he is the uh, youngest Ngayon So I I was able to witness nung binautismuhan siya. Ang ginawa ng pare yung parang nilagyan siya ng tubig dito sa ulo. So that that's the baptism that I know before. But when I became when I became a Christian, that's when I came to know about baptism. You know, in the Bible because originally the Bible is written in Greek. So baptism yan yung ganun. Hindi ko mabasa. Pero sabi nila, sabi Ang English term, ang English letters daw niyan will look like this. Baptizo. Baptizo. Yan yung Greek word. And it means, baptizo literally means to dip or to immerse. To dip. That's why, so, ibig sabihin, yung baptism pala, hindi lang siya basta wisik-wisik, no? Or yung tinutuluan ng tubig dito. But, huh? Huh? Yun nga, sprinkle. But, literally, you, you're going to be immersed, you're going to be deep. Yan yung baptism. Amen? So, yan yung baptism. Kaya yan yung gagawin natin mamaya sa magpa, mga magpapabaptize. Um, and later, we will give you, uh, siguro kahit piece of paper na lang, you need to write down your complete name. Uh, hindi na siguro age, name, name na lang, complete name, and uh, because we, we will, yung magpapa water baptize po later, we'll receive a certificate what, of, of water baptism. Pero hindi po yung baptismal certificate, baka mama pumunta kayo dun sa NSO. Ito yung baptismal certificate ko, ha? baka mama, sino yung, sino yung Aldrin na yan? Baka mama, hantingin na. It's, ano lang, certificate 
as like evidence na that you have been water baptized on that day. Yan. Okay, so but kasi hindi ko na hindi ko na isama dito yung water eh. <clears throat> kasi okay, sinabi natin baptism, bapt- so bakit water? 'Di ba? But water, okay, baptism you will be immersed in dugdog ka. O eh bakit ngayon water? Anong significance naman ng water? Ngayon, sino nagsabi ng cleanse? Narinig ko. Ayan. So, uh, kasi, I know, alam nyo, when, when the Bible talks about water, it can talk about a literal water, and it can talk about what the effect of water. So, what is the effect of water? Ano ba yung effect ng water? Sino ba dito gumagamit ng water? Sino naligo dito kaninang umaga? Uh, ayan. Oh, mukhang lahat naman, no? Sino hindi naligo? At least honest. <laughs> so, so water is for sabi sabi nga water is for cleansing, yeah. So for cleaning, let's let's just say for water is for cleaning. Maraming gamit ng water. There's so many uses. You can clean the car. You can clean the plates. You can clean everything, di ba? Yan. Ngayon, sabi may nagsabi kanina is sprinkle daw. In Ezekiel chapter 25 uh, 36 verse 25 sabi rito <coughs> I will spring I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols you see because in in the old testament when they say water when they say I will sprinkle water on you they know instantly parang ganyan they know instantly na oh ibig sabihin ito paglilinis no yan yun Uh, you see in John chapter 15 verse 3 it says the Lord Jesus is the one talking here it says you are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you yeah? so water clean and word nakita nyo that, so kaya pagka sinasa, binanggit ng Bible ang water it's synonymous it can be literally as water or it can be Uh, synonymous to the Word of God because the Word of God has a cleansing effect. Why? Because if you are sinning right now and you don't know that what you're doing is wrong, when you hear the Word of God, you will know that it is wrong and what are, what are you going to do? You will repent. You will, you will, you will discontinue sinning and you will repent. Diba? So, it will have that, that cleansing effect on you. And, and ito, paborito to ng mga, mga wife eh. Siguro hindi ko nalang banggitin. Ha? Kabisado mo? Deka, hanapin ko yung verse. Kinalimutan ko na kasi ayaw ko sabihin eh. Pero sabihin ko na nga, nawala, na, hindi ko makita. Nasa na yung efficient? Ayan. Efficient 5.26 25 pala, sorry, sabi rito Ephesians, o oh, mga husband makinig tayo ah, sabi rito <laughs> husbands love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave him himself for her, you know you know the church, anong, anong gender ng church, alam nyo female because the Lord Jesus Christ is the groom, the church is the female the, so the church is the bride and the Lord Jesus Christ is the groom later later on pag, sa pagbabalik po ng Panginoong Jesus there will be a, a great wedding a grand wedding of the church and the Lord Jesus Christ yan yung yan yung picture na pinakikita rito sabi rito <coughs> husbands love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her that's how That's how the Lord Jesus Christ love her, I uh, love love us, because we are the church. The church is not this building. The church is you, you. It says the 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 Greek word of church is ekles eklesia, from the root word called out ones. And who are the, the those called out ones? Tayo yun yung mga tinawag, tinawag ba kayo? Oh, message lang kayo kasi. 
modern na tayo ngayon eh, no? May message lang ako, hindi man ako tinawag. Pareho lang yun. So we are the called out ones. So th- that's why you are the church. And, and sa pagbabalik po ng Panginoong Isus, there will be a, a grand wedding between the church and the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's why, ganun, that's how, kaya ganun na lang kaming mga mga husband, kamahal kayo. Di ba? No. He, the Lord Jesus Christ gave gave himself for the church because the church is his bride. Amen. Ah, sino ba dito ang husband ang hindi magbibigay ng buhay para sa kanyang wife? Di ba? Yan, kaya mamaya may masahi tayo mamaya. Yan, and in verse 26, in verse 26, sabi dito, why why did why did he do this? Because the Lord Jesus wants to make her holy by cleansing her uh, cleansing her by the wash by the washing with water through the word amen so kayo mga yung yung mga husbands dito na wala yung wife lalo na yung mga husbands na hindi pa po nakakilala ang, ang inyong mga spouses ang inyong mga asawa so yan po yung dapat yung gawin dapat nyo po no introduce sila sa Panginoon and sabi rito, to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. I-share niyo po yung salita ng Diyos. I-share niyo yung love. Amen? So, yan yun. So, that's the reason why water baptism, because water has a significance of cleansing. Lalo na yung pool natin, may chlorine yan. Kaya talagang oh, kakalagay ko lang ng chlorine tablet. Kaya Yan patay ang bacteria talaga, malinis. Yan, so that that's why water baptism. So we will we will be deep immersed into water. Yan. So parang gusto niyo na atang lahat magpa-water baptize ha. Amen. So ito yung ating home text in Matthew chapter 28 verse 19 to 20. It says, "Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of the ages to the very end of the age so water baptism is an act of faith and, of, and obedience to the commands of Christ that is water baptism you know <clears throat> two way yan okay sinabi ng Panginoong Isus na, na, mag, na yes magpa water baptize kayo so you're following And at the same time, you are professing or you are confessing. Because it's a public declaration. Later on, I will give you an example again about about uh, about uh, husband and wife analogy comparing to water baptism. So it's a public declaration that you have put your trust, your faith in God, in our Lord Jesus Christ. That is water, that's what water baptism is. Baptism, baptism declares that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? We are a follower of Jesus Christ. Amen? It is a public confession of your faith and commitment to Jesus Christ. It is the next step after salvation through repentance and faith. And is an important foundation for the Christian life. In Mark chapter 16, verse 16 says, Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Amen? But don't think that water baptism is a requirement of salvation. It's not a requirement of salvation. Amen? Because the Bible says, plain and simple, John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever shall believe will not perish but have eternal life. So if you believe, yes, you are saved already. No, sabi, pero sabi nga ng Panginoong Isus, let us do this now to fulfill all righteousness. So that's why we need to do that. To, to fulfill all righteousness. <clears throat> so, a water baptism is a move from death to life. Yan yung symbolism niya. Baptism is a symbol of Christ's burial and resurrection. Our entrance into the water during baptism identifies us with Christ. With Christ death on the cross, his burial in the tomb, and his resurrection from the dead. Kasi, when we are immersed, yung uh, immersed may tawag? Oh, tama. When we are immersed or dipped into the water, it's like 
yung sim- sinimbolize niya yung death and then resurrection ng ating Panginoong Isus. That's what is being symbolized by the water baptism. <coughs> so in Colossians chapter 2 verse uh, 12 to 14 says, Having been buried with him in baptism, see? Having been buried with him in baptism, and baptism it says, you are being immersed. In which you were also raised with him through through your faith in the working of God who raised him from the dead. When you were dead in your sins and in the, the uncircumcision of your flesh, God made you alive with Christ. He forgave us all our sins, having canceled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us. He has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. Amen? Amen. So, doon po sa mga magpapawater baptized, nag, na, nagkakaroon na kayo ng idea kung ano yung significance and importance ng water baptism. So, tutuloy pa rin ba kayo o ayaw nyo na? Oh, amen. So, ito rin ang isang sinisimbolize ng water baptism, a brand new life. Wow, it's like a brand new car. Sabi nga ni Brad, dito kanina, I have a brand, brand new car. Pero hindi, hindi naman siya brand new, pero new. Sabi nga, sinagsabi ng pre-love, new pre-love. Wow, daming mga term na bago ngayon. <clears throat> so, it is a symbol of your new life as a Christian. We bury the old life. Yan kasi yung symbolism niya. Yung old life mo, hayaan mo na dun sa tubig. No, we bury the old life and we rise to walk in a new life. Baptism is like a wedding ring. Ito na. I, to, I, I, bigay kayo example. Siguro na nandig nyo na example na to. Baptism is like a wedding ring. It is the outward symbol of commitment you made in your heart. A commitment that has to be followed through and live out on a daily basis. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, and the new is here. Amen? We are we are new creation. No? We are a new creation in Christ. Now, sabi ko nga, di ba, baptism, water baptism is like a, it's a symbol. <clears throat> Parang ganito yan. Like ito, yung wedding ring. Wedding ring mo, mahal. Kala ko wala eh. <laughs> Parang ginto yan. Diba? Pag, kung ako, kung ako merong wedding, if I have this wedding ring, if I'm, I'm wearing the wedding ring, does it mean I'm married? For example, Bra- Brad Ronel, come here. Uh, alika dito, bro. Oh. Kuwari, for example, si Brother Ronel, I will give my wedding ring. Or, bumili siya ng ring. Wedding ring. Suot-suot niya. And you saw that meron siyang wedding ring. Does that mean that he is married? Does that not mean he's married? But it means it, it only means that he has a wedding ring. Di ba? Ngayon, if I remove this, I remove ko. If I remove this wedding ring, wala na akong wedding ring. Does this mean I'm single? I'm not married? No, my wife will say definitely not. Di ba? I'm, it doesn't mean that without the ring, I'm, I'm not married. Di ba? Pero, I put this this wedding ring as a symbol of our marriage. Because, di ba sabi nga, nung nila, ni, nilalagay ni Pastor Rajoan yung sing-sing, wear this ring as a sign of my love. Di ba? Tas, di ka na matandaan yung iba. Till death do us part. Di ba? It's, it's like, When I'm wearing this in in public, it's like I'm I'm uh, antok dito. I'm I'm declaring, I'm confessing, or I'm ah uh, uh, yung pinakikita ko na mahal ko yung asawa ko sa pag sa pagsusot ng ring na to, di ba? Si, yung minsan nga si sin ba yung matagal na yun eh? Hindi ko alam kung napanood ko or narinig ko yung pagkadaw yung may mga single. Tapos yung nakita yung wedding ring, yung single na parang na, nagiging ano na siya kasi ano na eh, in, uh, engaged na. So, kumbaga para kay para kay Pastor Joan, masaya si Pastor Joan na suot-suot ko yung ano, yung wedding ring ko. Kasi it's like it's like I'm yan. It's like I'm, I, I'm publicly declaring without me saying that I'm taken. So, masaya siya. Kasi pag hindi, 
Um, baka meron meron akong magustuhan or may aligid sa akin. Di ba? Parang, parang ganun. Parang pogi, you know? Ah, di ba? So, oh, yan, napawad to si Brad Michael. Bro, yung wedding ring mo, sot-sot mo ba? Huh? <laughs> Nasa heart daw. Ikaw pa, Sora, sot-sot mo ba? Nasa heart din? Uh, pareho silang nasa heart. P- pwede ba? Sa heart na lang din tayo. Yan. So, ganun, ganun yun. It's a, it's a public declaration kasi. So, as a Christian, as a Christian, you uh, try, uh, allowing yourself to undergo water baptism is like you are having this symbol. Kasi symbol to eh. Diba? It, if you remove this, hindi naman ibig sabihin pag, pag wala to, hindi ka nakasal. You know? Kasal pa rin ako. But it's just a symbol. Diba? Sabi nga ni brother dito, it's to show everyone that I'm taken. Ganyan din yung water baptism. It's a public declaration that you have put your faith, that you have put your trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Yun yun, yung water baptism. So baptism is a statement to everyone who sees it that I have trusted Christ for my salvation and I'm committed to living for Him. Yan yun. Amen? Amen. So Romans chapter 6 verse 4 says, We were therefore buried with Him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we may to live a new life. So, tayo po mga Kristiyano, we, need, we must live a new life. Wag na, hindi, wag na, uh, wag na tayo yung, yung talunan ba? Pag may problema, na nagmumukmuk. Well, Again na, ito, it's easier said than done. Mga sabihin nyo, si pastor akala mo naman, napakaano naman. Ang hirap kaya, oo, oh, ako rin nararanasan ko yan eh. It's easier said than done. Pero mas, ano bang gusto nyo sabihin ko? Gusto nyo sabihin, magmukmuk kayo. Yung mag gusto nyo sabihin ko. Diba? So hindi, hindi ko sasabihin yun. Ang sabihin ko, huwag kayong magmukmuk. Focus on our Lord Jesus Christ. Because, sabi ko nga, sabi ko nga, even, even though lahat is uh, sa tingin nyo, galit sa inyo lahat sa tingin nyo, hindi kayo gusto, lahat sa tingin nyo gusto kayong uh, gawa ng masama or pagsamantahan, or whatever that is but take note or remember there is always one that will always love you Amen? And that, that is our God, our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit so remember that always and and He is above everything, everyone, anyone. He's above. He's supreme, yes. He's supreme above all. Just imagine, a supreme being loves us that much. Diba? So, bakit pa kayo magmumukmuk? Diba? Ang problem kasi, uh, we are looking at what is in front. No? That's why the Bible says, walk by faith, and not, not by sight. But because if you you are walking as what you are seeing, you are seeing problems. Oh, problem na naman. Kung, kung mag, uh, if you will react according to what you see in front, and that's what will happen. But if you will put your trust, if you will faith in, you will put your faith in God, you will, you'll be able to see through dun sa future. Although you, you're not really seeing, but because you are putting your faith, your trust in God, then effectively everything will be alright. Because with God, everything is alright. Huh? So, kaya nga sabi natin, God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. So if God is good all the time, and you put your focus on God, you will be good also. Sabi nga natin, uh, sabi nga ni Pastor Bernie, di ba? what you focus yourself into, you become. You focus yourself on problems, well, may stress ka. You focus yourself in, on 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 uh, things that will bring you down. Iyon talaga ang mangyayari. But you focus yourself on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be spiritually filled. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, yan. Baptism does not make you a believer. Amen? So, if you want, oh, gusto ko maging believer, magpa-water baptize nga ako. No. That's, that's not it. But actually, those who will be water baptized should be a believer already. No. Water baptism does not make you a believer. It shows that you already are one 
baptism does not save you only your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ saves you which which is in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 it says but it is by grace you have been saved through faith and this is from yourself it is the gift of God not by works so that no one can boast so hindi natin pwedeng sabihin ang dami kong ginawang maganda I've done this I've done that I did this done that and all are good and you think you're saved no the requirement is actually very simple by grace we just need to receive it by faith it's it has been there always and and the way to receive it is by faith to believe to put our trust in god amen so also in water baptism will be inducted into a new family baptism also connects us to the body of christ his people in the earth in baptism there is a real sense of being joined with other believers not just participating in an individual act of our own spiritual journey in first corinthians chapter 12 verse 13 it says just as a body through though one has many parts but all its parts from what form one body so is it with christ for we are all baptized by one spirit so as to form one body whether jews or gentiles slaves or free and we were all given one spirit to drink so it doesn't mean that that oh ito engineer to da, ikaw priority ka dapat ma water baptize ka ito ganito to ito ganito lang hindi we are all one in christ sabi nga di ba hindi man tayo pare pareho dito di ba lahat tayo mayroong kanya-kanyang ministry mayroong magaling magluto Merong magaling mag-drive. <clears throat> diba? Hindi, hindi, hindi lang ako. Yung mga trans, lahat tayo, yung mga transport ministers. Merong, uh, merong, ano pa, merong magaling tumugtog. La Brother Arts, La Brother Ever, di ba? Oh, Sister Kes, nasa Sister Kes. Ayun, yung magaling kumanta. And we form one body, yan. Yeah? We form. We form one body, we... Kasi hindi, just imagine, no, tao na walang si Buchikik ba yung pangalan nun? Yung tao na, na kulang-kulang, di ba? Kulang yung kamay. Pero hindi, in-equip tayo ng Lord. We are here, we are here in-equip tayo, pinagsama-sama tayo ng Lord. Kaya we form one body. Amen? And, and in water baptism, yun din po yung, yung common. Kaya kung ito, di ba? Sabi, pag kinakasal, we are one. So, in water baptism din, yun din yung sinasabi natin. We are one in Christ. Amen? So, who should be baptized? Ito, every person who has made the decision to believe in Christ. So, you must have, you, uh, dapat na, 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 nampalataya ka na sa Panginoon Jesus. Hindi pwedeng huwag mo water baptize ka nang hindi ka pa na nampalataya sa Panginoon Jesus. When Paul writes, to the believers in Rome, he assumes that all of them have been baptized in Romans chapter 6. Kung babasahin nyo to, yung, yung book na yan in Romans chapter 6, nung sinabi na, ni, nung kinausap ni Apostle, when Apostle Paul uh, wrote to the Romans, he, he assumed that to the believers in Rome, he assumed that all of them had been already baptized. The one requirement for baptism is the belief in our Lord Jesus Christ. So you need to believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. So doon po sa mga magpapabaptize, dapat uh, you, magpapabaptize kayo because you believed in our Lord Jesus Christ already. Acts chapter 2 verse 41, ito. Those who accepted His message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. So those who accepted the message, in other words, those who accepted the Lord Jesus, the word, the Lord Jesus Christ. Yan po yung mga dapat magpabaptize. And when are we to be baptized? Believers in the New Testament were baptized the same day. The same day din sila pinaptize. As soon as a person decides to believe in Christ, he can be and is encouraged to be baptized. Again, same verse, Acts chapter 2, verse 41. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. And I believe this is the last uh, slide na nung ating pre- uh, message about water baptism. When we are raised out of the water, we are symbolically resurrected. Yung po yung symbolize nun. Raised to new life in Christ to be with Him forever. Born into the family of our loving God. In Romans chapter 8, verse 16, the Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Amen?
Amen. Are we God's children? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's give a clap offering to God. Alam nyo, <clears throat> brothers and sisters, I'm, ako po'y natutuwa talaga that, that nandirito tayo, sama-sama tayo. Uh, hindi, dito, here in Qatar, I know, hindi naman parating all good times. Eh. Sometimes there are bad times. But you know, here, sa church, no? Ano yun, Brad? Dito sa church, no? Parate nandiyan dyan yung love, yung joy. Yan yung gusto nating ma-experience. Yan yung gusto natin. Pero alam nyo kung anong gustong ma-experience ng Lord? Ipa-experience sa inyo? Gusto niyang ipa-experience, hindi lang experience eh. Gusto niyang ilavish yung love niya sa inyo. Ha? Ano ba yung lavish sa Tagalog? Hindi ko nga alam yung... Basta alam ko so, sobra-sobra yun. No? Bali, buho siguro. Ganun yung, yung ibig sabihin nun. Eh. Di ba? Kaya nga, kung tayo, pag, pag alis natin dito, when we go back to our accommodations, nandiyan yung problem, stress sa trabaho, nandiyan yung, yung uh, init, kasi ang init sa labas, humid, di ba? Nandiyan yung boss mo na, na boss mo na mataray, boss mo na bungangera, boss, di ba? Yung, yung, ha? <laughs> bungangero pala, ayan. May bungangero nga pala, yung boss mo na, parati na lang boss, iba naman. Yung colleague mo na, na, makulit. O, oh, ba? Diba? Ang dami. You know, but, what I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, is, dapat hindi, hindi lang po tayo Christian when we are inside this building. I'm saying this building because, I'm not, I'm not saying the church because you are the church. Kayo po yung church. Because you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit lives in you. So when we go out, when we come out from here, dapat, kung, kung ano tayo dito, ganun din tayo sa labas. Diba? And other, otherwise, parang plastikan lang ang dating nun. Doesn't have meaning. Diba? Kaya nga, when I heard yung testimony ni, ni Brother Edwin, and I'm really blessed the kay brother Edwin. Alam niyo ba kung paano kami nag how we how brother and me and brother Edwin uh, met through coffee. <laughs> through chai pala. Chai ba 'yun ng coffee? Through chai. Because we we're, we're working on site sa construction. And syempre pagod na kami. So we were having coffee. Doon ko siya na meet. And and <clears throat> while I'm here, I'm I'm uh, listening to his testimony kasi you know siguro sometimes especially pag yung yung problemado kayo you think you thinking or you tend to think that the Lord is not listening di ba may kantang na tutulog ba ang Diyos may kantang ganun di ba si Garben Shano but no I don't think I don't think na tutulog ang Diyos He knows everything is control you know, the, the only the only problem really is with us It's not with God. No? Sometimes kasi, hindi tayo, wala tayong patience. Meron tayong pinagpipray, but we don't have the patience to wait. So, what are we going to do? Pangungunahan natin ng Diyos. Diba? Now, magkakamali tayo. Then, when, pag nagkamali tayo, we will think that hindi tayo tinutulungan, ginagabay ng Diyos. Diba? Yung testimony ni Brother Edwin, sabi niya, di ba yung company niya, hindi niya isi, sukat isipin na, di ba? Bibigyan siya ng increase. Ganun po tayo binibless ng Lord. And, and I'm blessed by Brother Edwin. Alam niyo po, I'm not trying to leave Brother Edwin. Ha? I'm not trying to leave Brother Edwin. Alam niyo po yun si Brother Edwin. Uh, aalis pa yun ang munta sa pupunta dito. Nung maaga, pa, alam niyo pa, bakit? Para lang po ninyo yung sasakyan para makapag-gadid sundo ng mga kapatid. And, and the Lord sees that. No, and I believe that is the sabi ng Lord, well done my good and faithful servant. No, this is your blessing. Di ba? Ganun yun eh. You will experience. Kaya nga, when, when, when we say we will experience God, we'll experience Him in worship, we'll experience Him in His Word, we'll experience Him at work, we will experience Him, experience him in, in, in our life with our uh, wife, husband, with our kids, we will experience Him. But 
we will only be able to experience Him if we are um, uh, ang tawag dito? Yung tinatayuan natin yung ating pagiging Kristiyano. Kung dito ka lang Kristiyano, eh di dito mo lang ma-experience. Pag dalang mo sa labas, hindi eh ka lang Kristiyano, eh di wala. Diba? So that's what I'm I'm trying to say. Because there's one supreme being who loves us so much. And that's our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I'm really very happy and pleased because you are here today and we have heard the message of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So go in peace, everyone, and God bless us. But don't go because we are tired of us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. So we receive a very powerful preaching about the water baptism. Now we will move forward to the next part of our service, which is the uh, tithes and offering, where we will give back our uh, glory and praises to our living God through our finances. Amen. So are we blessed, brothers and sisters? Amen. Amen. So now you are you already know the importance of uh, having the water baptism. It is a public display of our faith and belief in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So while we are um, distributing the paper, uh, there's an envelope there. There's a small piece of paper there. We'll write your prayer request. So brothers and sisters, prayer requests, even though you don't have now the capacity to give, always remember that everyone should write their names and of course ask for prayer because Pastor Aldrin is the one uh, praying for our prayer request and also if you will put your tithes and offering put your names also no don't 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 think that oh we want to know the name so that we will know how much you give it's not how much you give but how 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 we will pray for you because we know that you are being faithful to your finances and also we want to pray for you so that the devourer will not uh, attack on our finances you remember the story of job you know the story of Job. Job was blessed. He was blessed, not only himself, but his family and all his uh, ari-arian, all his uh, possessions. So that is how God is extending the blessing to us. Not only to us, but also to our families and also to our possessions. Amen? Amen. So, uh, there's a verse in uh, Deuteronomy 18.18. It says there, so while we are distributing the papers eight eighteen or eighteen eighteen eight eighteen papa sorry amen Pwede mo magsimula sa 5 po, PA. You may say, you may say to yourself. Amen. Know then in your heart that as a man disciplines his son, so the Lord your God disciplines you. 6. Observe the commands of the Lord your God, walking in His way and revering Him. 7. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with streams and pools of water, with springs flowing in valleys and hills. Baka 10, 10 po PA. 10, 10, 80. Because it says there for... Amen. When you have eaten and are, are satisfied, praise the Lord your God for the good land He has given you. 11. Be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God. Amen? Because sometimes, no, if we are already filled, okay, okay, goods na tayo, but afterwards, we forget the Lord if whenever we're happy. And also, there are times that if we are in trials or in struggles, that's the only time we remember the Lord. You know? And also, we thank God for these struggles because that's the time we know that if we can't do that on our own, but God will make a way. Failing to observe His commands, His laws, and His decrees that I am giving you this day. 12. Otherwise, when you eat and are satisfied, satisfied when you build fine houses and settle down, di ba? Sometimes, 
we eat and be satisfied, okay na yung bahay natin, nakakapagpatayo tayo ng magagandang bahay. And when your herds and flocks grow large, silvers and gold, meaning pera, increase and all you have, have is multiplied, then your heart will become proud. And you will forget the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt and out of the slavery. You know, if everything goes well in our life, we forget the Lord. And 16, He led you through the vast and dreadful desert, that thirsty and waterless land, with its venomous snake and scorpions. He brought you water out of hard rock. 16, He gave you manna to eat in the desert, something your fathers had never known to humble and to test you so that in the end, it might go well with you. 17, You may say to yourself, my power and strength of my hands have produced this wealth for me. You know, we're working here in Qatar and Rials are times 14.2 in the Philippines. This is the power and strength that we have. Maybe you'll say to yourself, ah, because I'm good at work. Because I'm knowledgeable, I graduated two degrees. Right? We have these titles and all. I'm the executive secretary of the right hand of the sheikh and all. But you see, in 18, but remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth and so confirms His covenant which He swore to you, to your forefathers at, his, at it is today. So this morning when you are writing your prayer request, you remember that that money that you are putting inside the envelope, it is... Uh, it is. It came from the Lord. It is. It, it is not by our own strength. But remember the Lord that you know. Up to this day, He is the one providing for us, and He is the one giving all that we need. Uh, giving all that we need, and you know that's why it says in Hosea. In it says in the chapter in Hosea, no. Tayo daw po ay nagpapagal at isinusuksok daw po natin ng ating mga kinita sa bulsa na may butas. Tayo nagpapagal, isinusuksok natin. Parang walang, walang, walang ipon, walang kahit na ano. Kasi nakakalimutan po natin, i, 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 a, nakakalimutan po natin alalahanin ang, ang nag-iisang Diyos na nagbibigay ng lahat-lahat sa atin. And I pray this morning that when you are putting these gifts, these finances to the Lord, think about that sometimes you may think, oh, where, where, where is my offering and tithes go? You know, brothers and sisters, it is going for the, glo for, for the glory of God. You see, you see our chairs, you see the food that we eat, we see the lights, we see the water, we see the electricity. You know, it is because of, of your faith in God. Without you, the church will, the physical church will not be in here. That's why I praise God for all your lives that the Holy Spirit is the one touching you, giving you the spirit of willingness to give to the Lord. You know, because you cannot just give without without believing and having faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I encourage you, brothers and sisters, to put on your tithes and offering in front. And while you put, you say, thank you, Lord, because it is God who has given you the, uh, the capacity to, to produce this wealth. This is the verse of the Lord in Haggai. I, I'm sorry, it's not in Hosea, but it's in Haggai 1.6. You have planted much, but have harvested little. You eat, but never have enough. You drink, but never have your fill. You put on clothes, but are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in a purse with holes in it. Amen.
Amen. But God is faithful. He will never let the devourer go into our, our lives. Amen. Praise God. So let's all rise and uh, uh, lay, lay our hands to our tithes and offering and we, we will pray for, for, for it. Yes, Heavenly Father, our great God, our awesome and magnificent God, truly, you are the one blessing each and every one of us. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, for the lives of my brothers and sisters, Lord God, who have given their tithes and offering. And if they are not yet in the capacity, Lord God, to give, I pray that you will open, Lord God, your floodgates of heaven, Lord God, and pour out so much blessing in them, Lord God, that they too, Lord God, will experience, Lord God, the joy in giving, Lord God, to you alone. Lord, I pray for our brothers and sisters who haven't yet received their salaries, Lord God. I pray that Lord God, you will bless our companies, Lord God, with more projects, Lord God, with more clients, Lord God, so that, Lord, we know that our companies is your vessel, Lord God, of blessing unto us, Lord. I pray for our bosses, Lord God, that give them a clear mind, Lord God, so that if they are stressed, Lord God, hindi po kami ang mapagbuntunan, Lord God. Bagkus, Panginoon, naway sila maging masaya at maging maayos, Panginoon, upang mapahamala. Hanan nila, Panginoon, ang mga kumpanya namin, Lord God, ng maayos, Panginoon. Lord, I pray for our brothers and sisters, Lord God, who have those who doesn't have yet job, Lord God, who are seeking good opportunity, Lord. I pray that you will give the right job for them, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, and I thank you, Lord God, for the people that you have given increase and increment, Panginoon. I thank you, Lord God, for their lives, Panginoon. Nakikita mo ang kanilang mga pagpapagal, Panginoon. And Lord God, I speak blessing, Panginoon, sa each and every one of us here, Lord God. That not only finances, Lord God, not only those physical and material things, Lord God, but because the, your peace, your strength, your joy and love and grace be upon us, Lord God. And Lord, I pray that this too, Lord God, will be extended, Lord God, in our families way back home, Lord God, in Philippines, in Kenya, in Ghana, in India, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that they too, Lord God, will, will feel, Lord God, will feel of how great it is, Lord God, to serve to you, Lord God. Lord, kung hindi pa po sila mananampalatay, Panginoon, I pray that you will touch them, Lord God, right now. I pray that you will open, Lord God, their hearts, spiritual hearts and mind, Lord God, na nawa ikaw ay makapasok, Panginoon, sa kanilang buhay din, Panginoon. And Lord God, I pray for our brothers and sisters, Panginoon, na nasa Pilipinas na, Panginoon, na kahit hindi po na namin sila nakakasama dito, Panginoon, dalangin namin na ang iyong presensya ay sumaka nila, Panginoon. Kay Brother June, kay Sister Julie, Panginoon, mga nag-forgood, Panginoon, sila Pastor Bernie, Panginoon, Mami Tess, Panginoon, ang aming mga kapatid, Panginoon, na... Patunay nga, Panginoon, na Ikaw, Panginoon, ang nag-iisang Diyos, Panginoon, na nasaan man kami, Panginoon, we are one because of You, Lord God. And Lord, I pray, Panginoon, sa aming mga kapatid, Panginoon, na nangangailangan ng kagalingan, Panginoon, heal us completely, Lord God, physically, emotionally, spiritually, Lord God, come and heal us, Lord. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, that You will always put the spirit of willingness in our hearts, Lord God. Set a fire in our hearts, Lord God, so that we will not be move away, Panginoon, sa iyong presence, Lord God, but in good and in bad times, we will stand and serve you, Lord God. And also, Lord God, we pray, Lord God, as you said in the book of Psalms, Panginoon, that we declare that we are your servants, Lord God, that even though it hurts, even though it pains us, even though it is hard, we will still keep our oath to you, Lord God. And our oath to you, Lord God, is to serve you, Lord God, to become your faithful servants, Lord. Truly, Lord God, I pray for these finances, Lord God. Gamitin mo ito, Panginoon, sa so, yung panambahan, Lord God, to propagate your words, Panginoon. And Lord, I thank you, Lord God, that you added, Lord God, Brother Kurt, Brother Arnel, Panginoon, Brother Patrick, Lord God, Sister Lucy, Panginoon, 
Papatuloy Panginoon kami na dadagdagan ng nadadagdagan, Lord God, as you said in your word in Book of Acts, Panginoon, that because we are baptized, Lord God, our spirit is one with you, Lord God. N numbers, Lord God, the followers of you, Lord God, are added daily, Lord God. The added here in your family of believers, Panginoon. And that is our desire, Panginoon. Why are we are boasting, posting these things in Facebook, Panginoon? But, Lord God, we know that you are using technology now, Panginoon. A lot of people, Lord God, right now, babad, Panginoon, sa Facebook. Walang ginagawa, Panginoon, pa scroll, scroll lang. But thank you for giving us the wisdom, Panginoon, to use Facebook, Panginoon, so that kahit paano, Panginoon, just glimpse two minutes, three minutes, they can see your word. They can see your love, Panginoon, in social media, Panginoon. To real, Lord God, use us mightily, Lord God. Gaya po ng, sa message kanina, Panginoon, let our lives, Lord God, let our lives be the light, Lord God, to our workmates, Panginoon, to our family, Lord God, and most especially to those people who haven't yet known you, Lord God. May our lives speak, Lord God, louder than our words, Lord God. May our actions, Lord God, speak louder than what we are saying, Panginoon. For we know, Lord God, that you are the one who will sustain us to become your faithful servants. Lord, I pray to each and every brothers and sisters here who are raising their hand. Lord, ibalik mo, Panginoon, ang pagpapala sa kanila, siksik, liglig at umaapaw, Panginoon. And I rebuke the works of enemy in their lives. Lord God, pour out your precious blood unto us, Lord God, that no works of the enemy can ever penetrate in our lives, us and our families and our possessions, Panginoon. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and Amen. Praise, praise. Amen. Uh, announcement po for uh, next week workers for our next uh, service for August 9. Our preacher for next week is Pastora Reds. And worship leader is to be announced by Guya Art. Wisdom prayers is Jean. Worship service coordinator, Pastor Aldrin. Tides exhorter, exhorter Sister Presi. Kitchen ministry, ako, Ronel. Announcement, si Brad Darin. Thanksgiving prayer, si Bro Ruel. And, uh, dagdag po, announcement. Uh, Pakilike po yung page natin sa mga bago po. May Facebook page po tayo sa NJR King International Ministry Church. Sa Facebook po. And then, uh, kung kayo po ay single pa or married, tapos wala po yung asawa nyo, meron po tayong men's ministry dito. Pwede, pwede po kayong mag-join. And kung single pa, singles ministry. And women's ministry, uh, hindi pa, ano, hindi pa, pero mabibili na po. Then, yan lang. Maraming salamat po. Sister Lourdes. Lord God, 
God. At ngayon din, Lord God, sa mga susunod, Lord God. Maraming salamat, Lord God, sa sa uh, mga may sakit, Lord God, na sila ito uh, na mabuti rin, Lord God, na sa kanya na sa sakit, Lord God, na sa kanya na sa mga sa Lord God. Uh, Thank you, Lord God, sa mga lahat ng mga blessings ng Lord God. Lord, yung mga ibang kapatiran, Lord God, na hindi pa dumalo, Lord God, sa aral niya ito, Lord God. Na sana, Lord God, meron silang uh, sa susunod, Lord God, na kaya itong gawain, Lord God. Lord, maraming maraming tatang, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for the love. Sa lahat, Lord God, maraming maraming salamat, Lord God. At kami po ay nagsasabi, Lord God, ng magkas mo. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. As you remain standing, brothers and sisters, can I call on the worship team? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Worship team. Dito na kayo sa harapan. So, praise. Um, basag pa rin. Praise. So, before we move on to prayer, additional announcement lang yung sa August 13, mga kapatid, ang Malayang Pilipino, alam nyo po yung Malayang Pilipino band from the Philippines, they will be here on August 13. They will conduct worship and leadership conference from 1 to 5 p.m. on August 13. And they will have a concert on 6 p.m. to 8.30 on that same day dito sa Anglican. So, some of us, total of 17, have already confirmed their attendance. Kung meron pa pong gustong umaten, August 13 po is Eid holiday. So, if you are free, pwede po kayong umaten. Yung malayang Pilipino yan po yung kumanta na Salangit ang aking nadaraman sa kayong salamat, salamat. Yan. Ayan, kang kakantahin na. Malayang Pilipino ba yung victory song natin? Ay, musika sa akin. Next time, Malayang Pilipino yung victory song natin. Ayan. So, that is on August 13. If you want, you can approach po ang pastoral so we can request for them to reserve as a ticket. And then, yun nga, after the service, we will have Siguro kain na lang muna tayo after kumain then we will have the water baptism para dire-diretso. And then every Saturday we have the leadership training. So kung sino man po sa inyo available every Saturday, you are all welcome. Leadership training. If you you see yourself being a leader of the church in uh, months or years time, then please attend because th this leadership training is really very important especially sa mga leaders. Kasi ang pinag-aaralan natin dito, not only about the Word of God. Well, yes, first and foremost, the Word of God. But at the same time, it's uh, imparting to us. Yung at, meron po tayong guest speaker. Magaling po siya, si Pastor Jan. Yan, kilala na po nila yan. Huwag kayong tumawa. Uh, si Pastor Jan, from, straight from America, yung aming guest speaker. Uh, he imparts uh, his skills in leadership, in handling the church. Yan. Amen. And uh, that is on every Saturday. And, ayun nga, and tu every Tuesday, we will have training for instrumentalists. So, we, ito po, it, ipapinalize pa natin. And then lastly, uh, TNO, Tribes, Nations, Outreach. So far, meron na tayong five. Amen. Five na nag-confirm. Kaya po ito, Pastora? August 23? August 20th something. Mag-start siya. Tino is like a Bible school po. 
Uh, it will run for four months, straight four months, and graduation will be on December. So, meron na tayong mga nag-enroll sa TNOV4, si Pastor Manny, wala siya dito, si Pastor Reds, and si Sister Ellen. Ayan. Sila yung mga nag-TNO uh, uh, na before. So, you are also welcome to attend this TNO. Praise the Lord, and I'd like to tell you, brothers and sisters, um, hopefully this coming November, we will have our ilan na? Seventh seventh year anniversary and uh, actually ang anniversary po talaga ng Jerry King is October but we are moving it to November because ang init po kasi so for convenience po ng lahat we are moving it to November we can move it to November or maybe December also para malamig na kasi ang hirap lalo na lalo na pag dito pag dito gagawin sa church ang init kasi pag marami usually kasi pag anniversary marami tayo Uh, so, full pack, jump pack. Kaya, minumove po natin yan to dun sa mga winter months. Usually, November. And then, uh, malaman nyo na lang kung kailan yung exact date. And the team, the team po for our seventh year anniversary is living in accordance with the Spirit and setting our minds on what the Spirit desires. This is in Romans chapter 8, verse 5. In other words, we want to see our church in, in the leadership training on Saturday, The topic is about mission and vision. And it, so, in other words, the, mi the mission of this church will be about ito nga, uh, living in accordance with the Spirit and setting our mind on what the Spirit desires. Because that's the only way where you can be able to lead in a, live in accordance with the Spirit if your mind is set according to what the Spirit desires. Because if your mind is set according to what your flesh desires, then you are living according to the flesh and not according to the Spirit. Amen? So, po ang ating team for this uh, coming 7th year anniversary. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. Truly, this is a, a very blessed day for us, for each and every one. Um, merong mga nag-celebrate ng birthday, si Ashley. Ashley celebrated her, I think, fifth, sixth birthday. Nasaan siya? Sixth birthday. So, uh, baka meron pa sa inyo dyan nagsiselebrate ng birthday niyo. Huwag na kayo mahiya. Bukas pa ang, ano, bukas pa ang, kahit gaya silang pwede na. <laughs> so, let's pray, brothers and sisters. Father God in heaven, Lord, we thank you once again for this day that you have made. Lord, maraming maraming salamat, Father, because you bless us, Father, from the beginning of the service up until this this moment, Father, you continue to bless us, Lord God. And you continue to experience, Lord God, your love, Lord God, anointing upon each and every one, Lord. Lord, as our team for this coming seventh year anniversary says that we are going to live in accordance with the Holy Spirit, so therefore we should set our minds on what the Holy Spirit desires and not what on our flesh desires Father Lord this is something Lord that we will not be able to do on our own that's why Lord we pray Lord God that you will guide each and every one you will guide guide mo po kami lahat Panginoon babae lalaki na nandito sa sa bahay panambahan na ito Panginoon you will empower us Lord God by the power of the Holy Spirit Father Lord we know pa Panginoon na iba iba po kami Lord God we We are experiencing different trials, Lord God, every day, Lord God, every week, every month, Lord God, every hour here in Qatar, Father. We have come from Philippines to Qatar, we have come from Kenya to Qatar, Father, not to enjoy but to work, Father. And we are here to work, Lord God, and we are experiencing different kinds of trials, Panginoon. We are experiencing different kinds of burdens, Father, especially, Lord God, sa nangyayari sa Qatar, Panginoon, where uh, so much companies, Lord God, ang nagsasara, Panginoon, because of lack of project, Father. But I pray, Lord, yes, Lord, I pray. The people, Lord God, that are here right now, Lord God, you have brought them here for a purpose, Father. And that this purpose, Lord God, your will will prevail in their life, Father. So I pray, Father, kung ano man yung company nila right now, Panginoon, or kung, kung sila man ay naghahanap ng trabaho, Panginoon, Lord, I pray that you will bless this company. Sabi nga po in, in the prayer of Pastor Reds, Lord God, that you will that you will uh, give more projects and sustain our company, Father. Upang, Lord, patuloy po kami, Panginoon, na, na masustain dito sa Qatar, Panginoon, because really we believe that these companies are channels of blessing, Father. And some of us, Lord God, requires 
healing, physical healing, Lord. I pray that you'll send for healing, Panginoon, para galingin mo po ang aking mga kapatid, Panginoon, sa kanilang mga karamdaman, Panginoon. Not only them, even their families, Lord God, in the Philippines or in Kenya, Lord, you will send for, you will bring forth healing, Father. Maraming maraming salamat. They may be, Lord God, undergoing trials, emotional, Panginoon, physical, financial, Lord. I pray that you'll bless them, Lord God. Lord, Hayaan mo po, huwag mo pong hayaan, Panginoon, na, na sa mga pagsubok na ito, Panginoon, sila po ay bumagsak, Lord God. But Lord, we know, Lord God, in 1 Corinthians 10.13, you said, Lord God, na ang mga trials na ito na iyo pong binibigay, Panginoon, we will be able to, we will be able to withstand this, Lord God. And ikaw rin, Panginoon, ang magbibigay, Lord God, ng, ng kapamaraanan upang malagpasan po namin ang mga trial na ito, Father. So Lord, I pray that you bless, Lord God, lahat ng aking mga kapatid, Panginoon, from the list of us, Lord God, to, to to even the worship team, Lord God, here in my back, Panginoon, you bless. I, we pray, Lord God, that you bless them as well. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat, oh Dios. Thank you, Father. Maraming salamat din, Panginoon, sa mga kapatid po namin, Lord God, that nakita po namin first time dito sa Pahay Panamban, Brother Patrick, Brother Arnel, uh, Brother Kurt, Sister Lucy, Father, Sister Leia, Lord, salamat po sa kanilang mga buhay, Lord God, as we always say, if it is your first time, the next time we see you, you are a part of the family. Lord, we pray, Lord God, that, that you will make them, Lord God, a part of the JR King family, Panginoon. Pagkat gusto po namin, sama-sama lumago, Panginoon, sama-sama magmahalan, Panginoon, pagkat yan po ang gusto mo, Panginoon, magmahalan kami, Panginoon, because you first love us, Lord God, by giving the Lord Jesus Christ. So therefore, maraming maraming salamat, Lord. Lord, thank you, Father God, for Sister Ashley who's celebrating it, her sixth birthday today. I pray, Father, that you will give wisdom, Father. You will give, uh, you will sustain her parents, even especially Brother Richard, Lord God, you, that you will give Brother Richard a permanent work, permanent job, Father, to so, para po masustain sila, Panginoon, dito sa Bansang Qatar, Father. And I pray that you'll give wisdom to her parents upang maitaguyod, Lord, mapalaki ng maayos ang mga bata si, si Ashley, Panginoon, at si Sam, Panginoon, according to your statute, Panginoon, according to, to the ways that you want them to grow to, Panginoon, as a Christian, as a Christian family, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Father. We continue to pray, Panginoon, even for uh, the brother of Sister Sherry, Lord, who will take the board exam, Lord, we pray, Father. Uh, as his brother takes this board exam in uh, radiation technician, Father, I pray that you will help him, Father. You will guide him, Lord God, na makapasa po siya, Panginoon, dito sa, sa examinations na ito, Lord God. Lord, ang aming kapatid na si Brother June, nag-forgood na po, umuwi na po sa Pilipinas. Even malayo po siya, Panginoon. Lord, you said in your word, Father, in Isaiah chapter 59, Lord God, that your hands are not too short to save, Father. Lord, I pray that you will stretch your right to right hand, Father, and you will you will stretch it at ipapanto mo po ito sa asawa po ni Brother Jude. Kung saan, Panginoon, meron pong karamdaman ngayon. Kung saan, meron pong yung sis po, Panginoon, ay pumotok, Father. But we know, Lord God, in every situation, you are in control. How you, how you showed your power, Lord God, in providing healing sa kapatid ni, ni Brother June na may dengue, sa mga anak ni Brother Ruel na may dengue, na magaling na ngayon, Father, you will also send for healing sa asawa po ni Brother June, Father. Maraming, maraming, maraming salamat po, O Diyos. Lord, wala po. The words is not enough, Father, to thank you, Father. You are above all. You are supreme, Father. Thank you very much, Lord. Thank you very much. Church, can we raise our hand as a gesture of receiving the blessings from God, the benediction from God? Father, as you said in your word, in the book of Psalms, that you will keep us from all harm. You will watch over our lives. You will watch, you will watch over our coming and going both now and forever. And you, Lord, will make our love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. You will strengthen our hearts so that we will be blameless and holy in the presence of God, the Father, when the Lord Jesus Christ come with all His holy ones. And in Philippians chapter 4, chapter 4, verse 7, you said that the peace of God, 
which transcends all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus we pray amen and amen praise the Lord church praise the Lord praise the Lord uh, awit po tayo uh, sister okay na ba yung put natin huh? yeah. ano na po natin pasok na natin yung mga, mga kapatiran mga kalalakian tulong na po pasok na natin yung put and uh, praise the Lord awit po tayo and magkamayan po tayo kamustahan po tayo in the name of Jesus Ay, ano, ay, ano pala, di, di mga ngamba, mag-face ako, that's it. Ikaw ang 
singles po. Pwede pong mag-occupy po tayo dito kasi po meron po tayong meeting. Yeah! See you all po. Thank you. Ikaw ay kap 